My name's Kez. Um, I have a son named Hassan who was diagnosed with Alstrom syndrome in April 2013. I'm also a trustee of Alstrom Syndrome UK. For me, I think the conference is quite crucial. Um, I think as a syndrome, it is very, very rare. And that, that puts us in some, gives us some challenges as a, as a charity in terms of giving that support and empowerment to families and patients who are suffering from Alstrom Syndrome. So I think these types of conferences are absolutely paramount for families, for medical professionals, for other yeah, individuals from different organisations. Due to the complexity of it, I think there's quite a lot of information that requires us as ASUK to raise awareness, and I think the conference is one of them mechanisms where we can truly do that. I was really keen to share our story as a family in terms of our diagnosis, how we dealt with it, some of the barriers that we've dealt with, and to give some of them positive messages to others where they can learn from our experience, really. So I, we were asked to focus on you know, what we did, how did we approach the diagnosis, and what we've done in the meantime to really, because all this is about Hassan, um, it's about his health, it's about his health results and annual, you know, results in terms of how they are um, improving or not improving. So I think that's, that's a crucial element, and I really wanted to highlight that. As a parent, I think the lived story is quite powerful, you know, the personal stories are quite powerful. And my heart bleeds for parents who, I'm a bit of a gobby, you can probably see I've got a gob on me and I can talk, but my heart goes out to parents who aren't in that position where they can go out and articulate, you know, what needs to be captured within their child's education plan. So my role really is about advocating some of that on behalf of parents. And also, you know, we're a charity that we also specialise in, in, in different diversity within the charity. So I think it's about 42% of our families come from a black and minority ethnic background, which, again, it, I'm not saying we've got challenges there, but that brings in some challenges for us in, in how we meet some of that specialised need uh, and how we can get into some of these families as well. I think the key message um, for me, um, personally, I think it's been really useful overall, but the key message that's come out for me is about that importance of having a healthy, active lifestyle. And some of the presentations that have been presented by a range of medical professionals over the weekend has really emphasised on that importance. And I think, again, for a parent, uh, a trustee of ASUK, I personally believe that this is an area that we need to take further. We really need to get grasps of the benefits around it and how that healthy living exercise is actually having a positive impact on medical results. And from our experience, from Hassan's experience, we've got some very clear evidence about how it's how it's helped us in terms of managing the condition. I think for me, we will continue to focus on the healthy eating and the exercise, but I think um, it's also about getting that message out. It's also about working with other families, perhaps who are not here today, who have missed out on this vital information. And I, I suppose for me as a parent, but also a trustee, there's all kinds of different things going in my head at the moment, but the key is, is the healthy eating and the healthy exercise that I feel we as a charity, we as parents, we as carers, individuals suffering from a Alstrom, we need to grab that with both hands and we need to take it further. When uh, Hassan was born, um, Hassan, we, we very early in his earlier days of development, we realised that something was not right in terms of Hassan's vision. And unfortunately, we, we were a late diagnosis, so it took, it took the doctors 17 years to diagnose Hassan. Now that tells me that there's still a lot of work to do in terms of getting that early diagnosis. Uh, so for 17 years, I as a father battled with medical professionals and educational departments and social services and I was only dealing with the visual impairment, knowing, not knowing that my son has got this life-limiting condition. 
So for me, when we first got um, approached by Alstrom Syndrome UK, it was really reassuring um, because all of the sudden people were saying to us, we, we're going we're gonna to provide you with the necessary support. And as I said in my presentation earlier on, just by having ASUK there at these multi-agency meetings from a parent's perspective, they were really able to capture some of the complexities, some of the need that's required for our young people and adults with this condition. And they were really able to endorse that. And I think with this condition, with it being so complex, my heart goes out to those individuals who are simply on their own, where they don't have that support mechanism like ASUK. So we know as a charity we've got work to do. We're continuously focusing our efforts in getting lots and lots of awareness. There's been some immense, you know, phenomenal work that's, that's been, that's happened, and we need to build on that. We need to build on that year on year and we need to be there. This is a family patient-led organisation, so the voices of families and individuals is really important and how we move forward with that is crucial for this charity's success. My name is Hassan Hayat. I am from Bradford, West Yorkshire. I was doing a presentation about healthy eating and exercise and, and people with Astrum, people with astrum condition, they need to go out there and get the support and do the physical exercise because for astrum patients, physical exercise is important with diabetes, liver, fatty, fatty liver, heavy weight. So you need to control, control all that and have a balanced diet and, and exercise. ASUK is a good charity. It, when I got di diagnosed, it, s it supported me in the right way. As a, as a disabled person, you, you do things, you have your own rights, like you fight for your own rights, like a disabled person.